Okay, we're back. Boy, look how much fucking time I have left. Uh, yeah, I didn't uh, get the uh, elixir this time, as you can see. By the way, at the end of the last episode, uh, you'll notice I did have a chance to jump, but I said wait. Uh, you have to actually... If you wait, um, then you actually get to... Uh, uh, you get to wait. You get the option to choose to wait for Maynard. So basically, so yeah, so, oh well, I checked the footage, apparently what I did, I didn't realize how much time I wasted on that first, um, that first fucking fight, uh, I cast, I cast Scan, and then I waited for Quadra Slam, and then, uh, I wasted a turn using, uh, Bio, which did nothing, and, yeah, I spent, like, over, like, a minute on the first fight, I think by the time I was done, and then I fudged around in the menu, uh, I fucking cured in between, which I guess, I don't know, they don't, they, it wasn't doing that much damage, I could've actually waited, uh, to heal or whatever, like, I, I should've waited till I was lower on life, um, but yeah, by the time it was all said and done, I think I had, like, I wasted, like, two minutes, but, like, by the time I was going after the first fight, and I technically didn't save, um, that much time by not getting that elixir, but, oh well. I figured I, w I like I wasn't fucking around. Plus, I had to do the sync test with the timer going, <laughs> so it it only took like 20 seconds to uh, to do the sync test. I I I got a certain way to, of going about doing it. Uh, I do it a certain way. Okay, so since we waited now with five seconds left, see it's funny. There's five seconds left, but now we're gonna sit here and uh, and chat. Uh, Maynard, I'll be blown to bits before I can even collect my pay. Who's, who's paying you? The Empire? I thought you abandoned them because they tried to kill you. By the way, yeah, how... I'm still not sure how uh, Maynard was strong enough to pin him. Can't you defuse the statues? With the statues, when uh, Kefka's physical strength, he was strong enough to uh, kick Gestal, even with no, like, magic abilities. Just kicked him and he went down. So if he's that strong physically, then how is Maynard able to hold him in? Maybe Maynard's just that much of a badass. Holy shit. This part's fucking cool. Oh man. Oh, and Crunchola. A lot of bones got crunched to fucking uh, uh, bone dust or whatever. What's it called? A bone meal? Okay, airships uh, busted in half. Pretty sure uh, that's gonna need some attention. Uh, we need to use a couple of band aids there. Perhaps, uh, perhaps a Yuhu stick. Anybody remember Yuhu? the fucking glue stick that came in the in the yellow tube I believe tube I believe uh, we used those when I was in like fucking like kindergarten on that day the world was changed forever which is funny because in Chrono Trigger uh, when you get that that uh, picture or that shot of the earth it'll say it like but the future refused to change or some shit Uh, yeah, I guess we'll do... I mean, come on. I can't not do Chrono Trigger at some point, but... Man, I've just... I've played it a fucking lot. I've played it... I've played it and gotten, like, all the endings. Uh, and then I played it on the DS, and then I've watched... Uh... At least two LPs of it. So, I mean, I fucking... I've played it a lot. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I mean, there's no way, I, you can't have an, have an RPG LP channel and not fucking do it, but man. And I, I, you know, it would be cool to do it, I'm not, not looking forward to it, but man, it's gonna be, I don't know, I guess we'll find out what it's gonna be like, huh? Oh man, it's Condom Man. Wow, just stepped through the back of the chair. I 
Okay. Hello. Okay, now, nah, at last. I've gotten so tired from jacking off watching you sleep. You're finally awake. I feel like I've been sleeping forever. Yeah, that roofie I gave you was uh, a little stronger than, uh, than I thought. You're a fucking, uh, you're a fucking lightweight, girl. For one year, actually. I thought you were out for good. I was wondering what I was going to tell the police. <laughs> Whole year? You've watched over me the whole time? Yeah, I was watched over you. That's how we're gonna word it. <laughs> yes, and I'm about all out of energy. Boy, I was just whacking off non-stop and... Man, I am just out of energy. We're on a tiny deserted island. There was nothing to do except jack off to you sleeping. <laughs> After the world crumbled, I awoke to find us here together with... My boater. A few strangers. The world. So it wasn't just a dream. Where are my friends? Where's Zeus? I don't know. I know... I only know we're here. Maybe we're the only people left alive. You, me, and my thunderous erection. Looks like we'll have to repopulate the world. Since that day, the world's continued to slide into ruin. Kind of like how my penis slid with sliding into your uh, unconscious vagina. Uh, animals and plants are dying. Because they're just covered with semen and it blocked the sun and they couldn't photosynthesize and they died. The few others who washed up here uh, with us passed away from boredom and despair. They couldn't think of anything to keep themselves occupied. Luckily, jacking off just gave me the will to just persevere. My friends, they're probably all gone. Tina, you're the closest thing to family I have. Uh, we have a special bond now that we've, uh, now that we've made such sweet love. Uh, we could just live out our lives here peacefully. We could just not go to the police. I suppose so, Sid. Or should I say Granddad? May I call you that? Uh, you can call me Daddy. Graham, say I'm overwhelmed. All of a sudden I have a granddaughter. Well, this makes it awkward. Cough wheeze. My long-lost granddad. Ha! 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 Cough! Hey, are you hungry? No, I'm fucking having a- having like a coughing fit! Is that what- is that what people do when they're hungry? I haven't eaten in three day- three or so days ever since I became ill. I'm going blind from zinc deficiency from jacking off too much. What- what would you like? Well, unless I ask for fish, I won't get anything. That's all there is here. I'll go catch some. Oh, yeah, catch some. That's that's what I wanted when I asked for fish. We'll go with that. Okay, so I'm controlling uh, Tina now. She's kind of walking funny for some reason. It's probably just because she got raped for a whole year. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and put sprint shoes on her. And uh, let's just go ahead and equip her. Uh, is she in the back row, right? Alright, cool. Uh, an Esper. Uh, you got... Okay, she's got Life. And all of those. She's got Cure and Cure 2. She has, uh, and has Bio. I don't know, let's just stick something on her for now. Okay, so for her, uh, actual Relic, uh, let's do Black Belt. Okay, so we got this singular house. Uh... Oh, fucking damn it, dude. Peepers. Aw, oh, they got no magic. And then they die. Wow. I'm pretty sure, uh, does something happen if you go up here? Uh, no. I thought there was a, a location. There is, but you just, it's story related. Okay, so from here, even though we came from the south, you then go south, and then uh, you wind up in this screen. Talk to little birdie. Um, this this section of the game is weird. Uh, what you gotta do, there's not, there, you can either save Sid or let him die. Uh, what you have to do is find a uh, fast swimming fish. 
Here's a fish, eat up. Oh, that was the wrong voice. I'm not long for this cruel new world. I'm pretty sure if you give it, you have to give them the fast swimming fish. And if there isn't one, you have to go up and talk to them again to respawn the fish. But if you, every time you re-talk to him, there's sort of like a point system for his health. And every time you talk to him, he like loses a point. But it's not as much as uh, if you give him a shitty fish. I'm actually not sure if giving him a normal fish keeps him even. Or if he still loses one. But basically, you just kind of got to get lucky. And uh, as his health goes up and down, once it hits certain thresholds, he'll say different things. Ah, there we go. You can only step one step. I guess technically if that counts as a step, we can go two steps in. Alright. Yeah, first time I played this, I had no fucking idea what I was doing. And he fucking died. I'm actually not entirely sure if there's... If anything significant happens if you save him, other than he just is alive. Versus uh, if he's if you he, if you let him die, you'll like just find a note that he'll leave, he'll that you'll he will he will have left you um, before he died. See, even though he said I can't bear this any longer, he's actually getting better. I don't know if that was a if, if that was like a bad translation or something. So even though he said a different thing, it still sounds like um, it still sounds like he's like like in dying mode. Okay, I guess we'll. Uh, we guess we gotta do go with the normal fish. Hopefully that doesn't like take him down like two notches versus giving him nothing. Would only take him down like one notch. I wonder. Boy, for all the times I play this, I actually uh, have no idea. Okay, we gotta make sure we don't actually accidentally grab a different one because I'm pretty sure you can only grab one at a time. <clears throat> I can't. I feel a little better. Okay, so this would be your clue that you're uh, doing something correct, I guess. And you can also check the uh, the, the status of your. You can check the uh, the fish. It'll say yummy fish, and I think if you have a regular one, it'll say like just a fish or a plain old fish or something like that. But then if you pick the slow one, it'll say a rotten fish. And I'm like, well. Just because it's swimming slowly doesn't mean it's rotten. It would have to be like long dead for it to be rotten, right? It would, it would, it wouldn't be alive if it was still rotten, right? What does the regular one say? Yeah, just a fish. So it's not like the. I mean, that's totally inaccurate. Where the the faster swimming ones are more yummy. Tina, you know, thanks for all you've done for me. Huh? I guess maybe the small one makes him go up a like one notch. I guess I don't know. Okay, we got, uh, oh man, no, just, it's fine, no, just swim all the way down there all day. All right, luckily he, luckily that didn't take too long. Sometimes they fucking bust your chops and just futz around in the bottom right corner for like an hour. Oh shit, okay, that's a normal one. Eh, eh. Actually not a big fan of fishing in real life. My dad's a big fisherman, but I used to like going, but then I got, like, older, and oh shit, okay, yeah, that's actually making him go down. But, uh, I just, as I got older, like, I don't know, it just started to, I just started to not enjoy it, because it's like, okay, you go out on the lake or whatever, and then you might get a fish, you know, like, I don't know. I mean, yeah, you can do things to make your chances better. But you're always at the mercy of if they want to fucking bite or not, you know. And then I think I might I think I might have mentioned this before, but then I'm sitting here like, oh shit. Actually, I'm going to not uh, give them the bad one. And then I'm sitting here, you know, I was kind of a shy kid and and my dad's an introvert. and He's not very, he's, does you know, not really talkative. So I'm sitting here going like, what the hell? Like, you know, I'm, like, nine. What the hell does a nine-year-old man, like, have to say? I just got bored. Like, he's okay. You know, some people, like, just be in nature, you know? And, like, to just sit there on the lake or whatever. But I'm just like, dude, it's fucking boring as shit, man. We're not even catching any fish. Like, that's the one thing that was going to, like, leave some boredom. And it's not even fucking happening all the time. 
So then by the time we moved to uh, Oklahoma, now it's like an hour and a half to the nearest fucking lake versus like when we were in northern Michigan. You know, the, the joke was that there's 20 lakes within 20 minutes. So if you if the fish weren't biting, you could sit there for two hours. And then if you if nothing's biting, you can just go f- say fuck it and go home. But like when you're going an hour and a half one way, you have to like commit to like, you know, if you're going to be driving a total of three hours just to get to the fucking lake and back. You have to commit to be there for like 10 or 12 hours, you know, otherwise it's not worth that long of a drive. Oh, so then just sitting there all the damn time, I don't know. So then the drive like didn't help at all. And by the time I got, I think we moved, we moved when I was like 11 and a half. So by that time, that was like the final fucking nail in the coffin, you know. Oh, but yeah, but I mean, I don't know, some people like it, but, <clears throat> and I mean, that's fine, I suppose, but I just, I don't like it being up to chance, you know, and like I said, you can tilt the odds in your favor by knowing what you're doing and shit, but, you know, I don't know, I would just like the reward to be, like, based on, like, ability or skill or, or, you know, I guess patience, like, I like to do jigsaw puzzles, and that's just an exercise in, like, patience, too, I suppose. But you at least know that your patience will always pay off. Versus with fishing, like, you, it might not pay off. You, I mean, you could go you go to the lake, you know, six times in a row and not catch anything, you know. All right. So, I mean, I don't know. It's not for, it's not for me. I mean, I, I've done it enough you know, sometimes people will just say, oh, I don't like doing this thing that I've never done before. Like, I would say I've never been hunting. And I would say I don't like hunting, but then again, I don't know, I've never fucking done it. That whole argument doesn't always uh, work, though, by the way. We just say, we well, don't know to you if you haven't done it. It's like, well, I've never eaten a dog turd, but I know that I wouldn't like that, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's any anytime somebody makes that argument, that's how you shut them up really fucking quick. Jeez, some of the some of the arguments that people make about stuff are just so easily debunked. Like they they're like like, but they've never. A lot of times, people have never had. If it's if people if it's a saying, people are just used to going. Oh well, it's a saying. Well, okay, I guess you can't question it because otherwise it wouldn't be a, an expression. It's like no, a lot of them are you know use faulty logic, and are you know. Like the one, like one that I just, um, there's one where it says, uh, spend money on experiences, not things. And boy, that is, that is terrible financial advice, actually. <laughs> you know, if, unless you're rich, then, you know, you, it's just a way to, I think I might've said this the other day on a different episode of something, but yeah, it's just a way to justify, uh, going on trips you can't afford, but they're like, well, well. You know, I feel justified in doing it because there's an expression that says I ought to. It's like, why are you living your life based on what expressions tell you to do instead of using your own fucking common sense? You know, if you got a thousand dollars in a bank in the bank and you want to go on a trip, that's a thousand dollars. You 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 can't really afford it. You know, you you I mean, you can you have the money for it, but that doesn't mean you ought to. It doesn't mean it's it's a good use of that money versus you should save it for when something goes wrong with your car. When it comes to your car, it's not a matter of if something goes wrong with it. It's a matter of when. So having that money in the bank in advance seems way super fucking smarter. Hmm. But yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I don't think I would like to go hunting. I mean, I think the the thing that I would not like about hunting is that you're out in the middle of the fucking woods. And then if you're like... Like, I know a guy who goes, like, bear hunting. I'm just like, dude, I would not want to be hunting a thing that could also just super easily kill me, you know? I mean, technically, anytime you're out in the woods, you can get uh, attacked by something. Even if you're, like, even, like, even just deer can just fucking, like, can attack you and just fucking kill you, you know? Okay, come on. Is he even... I actually haven't been paying attention. Uh, okay, we're at this level. I... I'm pretty sure this is the last one before he says that he's better or whatever. Hey, we got a quick one, too. But, I mean, I don't know. I really wouldn't want to. If somebody offered to take me hunting, 
I probably wouldn't go. I don't think I would like it. I wouldn't like it, and if anybody tells me that I that I don't know if I wouldn't like it or not, or would like it or not, because I haven't done it, then I always got the shit, the dog turd fucking thing to fall back on. My dear, I feel I'm not going to be around much longer. Yeah, that's like the... I get, Yeah, I guess I was wrong. Yeah, he's got like the thing where it makes it seem like what you're doing isn't working. I don't know why they did that, to like throw you off. Okay. Feel much better. Thanks, Tina. He was only one away. You're wasting all your fucking strength walking back to the bed every time. I, it's like a child that you tell to go to bed. And then every time you go to check on it, it just goes back into the bed. Like, it knows it's supposed to be there, but it won't stay. Okay, now, the project that kept me going over the past year is down below. Go have a look at it. It's a big, giant jar of cum. And I also built a raft in the last five minutes. Granddad. Tina, you must leave this place. You have to find your friends. I know, but I'll bring him back to meet you. That's Zeus fellow too, no doubt. Oh, this is the first time we hear this music. I don't know, I kind of like this music. Um, it kind of has that, like, despair kind of feel to it, but then it also sort of has, like, when the next part kicks in, it sort of has... It, it kind of has like a hope vibe to it, so it's like that cross between like despair and hope. Kind of feel, I mean, that's how it feels to me. Which it's weird because like, I mean, I do like music and stuff, but like, I'm not one of those people that's like super duper like, you know, some people can just hear a song and just think of something it reminds, of them, re reminds them of or whatever, but like, this is probably the only one, the song in the game that like, like actually has like, like actually like could mean something, you know. But I mean, I don't know. It's just weird. Like I don't, I don't think that way about music in general. But that particular song, uh, I kind of get that sense from it. Oh shit! Okay, we're by ourselves. But I think, Geomantis. Okay, there's something about that dinosaur dude. He does something, I think. Maybe he runs away. Yeah, I don't know if it's that one or if it's um, if it's a palette swap of that monster. I don't know. That just it, it reminded me of something that some what that one of them do. I don't know. Well, you're holding your head, your sickle, very far over your head. So okay, not too bad. A thousand. A thousand experience. All right. Okay. So now we got sad or like organ music. Okay. Good old Albrook. Did you see that tower? Kafka's up there, and he's using the power of the statues. He's like a god. Okay, boy. I used. I had thirty, or I had ninety-nine uh, potions, so I used a bunch of those. Um. Same effect as warp. Escape from battle. Um, wow, I actually do not have tents. I don't know. I'll buy a couple of these. Uh, just to... Uh, since... Uh, in case I need to use a tent, but I don't have an actual tent. I think I got like three left still. Uh, yeah, I used a bunch of tinctures just to be... Uh, just to have more of that. More of those. Um... Man, I don't fucking know. Let's uh, see if we got better uh, weapons and shit. I do kind of like having uh, BZ in the back row. So uh, if we could keep a uh, keep uh, Morningstar or some kind of flail on her, that'd be great. That would be great. Hello, old man. You have the sparkle in your eye. You're the spitting image of a man who came through here recently. That's just cum that's on my face that's glistening in the sun. That's all that is. Don't worry. Don't worry, it'll dry. Um, okay, you got the three swords that I already have one of each. I'm a scholar of weapons, a thousand years, okay, boy. Boy, the whole fucking world ended and you're still saying the same shit? Jeepers. 
Anyone who opposes Kefka gets his or her talent fried by the light of judgment. Everything changed on that day. They're already watching their fucking pronouns in 1994. His or her town, or her, it could be it could be a woman's town. It's not male by default. When the world was ripped apart, many long-sealed monsters were released. Fun Baba, Doomgaze, and the Eight Dragons. Uh-oh, a little foreshadowing action. Why were all these monsters, like, in the Earth to begin with? I wonder if these two treasure chests would have had something in them if I didn't open them earlier. Okay, uh... Normally you would spend money on this. Oh man, still don't have better shit? Alright. And what do you have to say? I finished the Emperor's portrait. It was a true representation of the Emperor, but he hated it. I ended up selling it to Ozer. Ozer? A rich man who lives in Jidor. Well, at least he didn't fucking kill you. Alright. I found this in a 1,000 year old text. Eight dragons seal away this awesome beast. Its name is Crusader. Defeat these dragons and its power can be released. I actually don't think that I ever talked to that dude to find that out, but yeah, that's a, that's a hint. Oh, you again? Oh, sorry, you look just like a man who is here searching for his friends. Are you blind, lady? He said he was going north to Tzen. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Excuse me. Why are you coming between me and that lady? We're trying to have a conversation here. Uh, do I need to stay at the inn? Uh, no. Okay. Any different shit here? Um, the fuck does that one do? Okay. Uh, now I think we're good. Yeah, I guess it's just giving you the option to buy the same shit over and over again in case you, like, passed on some shit earlier in the game, but you changed your mind or something. Or if you just decide you want it now. Uh, oh, I think back on how nice the world used to be. Yeah, weren't you the one that were bitching about all the troops in the fucking town? Yeah, it wasn't so bad, was it? At least you had customers. <clears throat> and realize it'll never be the same again. Well, you could still have people. You could still have ladies dancing on the stage, and you still could have customers. <laughs> On that day, debris from all over the world floated eerily towards the uh, to the center of this landmass and formed that tower. How can you make a GP in a world like this? Uh, I don't know. Ask the other people selling shit. They're selling shit just fine. Oh man, dude, way the fuck up here! I saw a doomgaze soaring through the sky. I'd take, I'd rather take an acid bath and fight that thing. Well, I don't think. I'm not sure if I knew that guy was up there. I think what probably happened is that, um, like the f like the first or second time I played the game, I probably talked to everybody, but then after that, I just, I, pr I think I just stopped talking to, like, the NPCs, so I actually didn't, like, solidify, solid solidify, solidify in my mind, like, what they said. So that's why, I mean, it's been, there's been a bunch of people that I just was like, oh, I don't remember talking to that guy, I don't remember him saying that. Okay, so there's nothing to do here. Uh, they said to go north. Here's that tower, by the way. Lunaris. And Osprey. Okay, come on. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the, uh, the Offspring, the band. I don't know. I mean, they're okay. It's just not, it's not music that I like actually i'm pretty sure i had an offspring cd i'm not i'm trying to think where i got it from i must have been in like junior high or something but then like my mom or something i'm trying to think what happened my mom had it in her possession and i think she's uh, yeah they do run away i think she like she was gonna listen to it and then determine if i could listen to it or some shit but then i think she forgot and then she ended up keeping it for like 
like years and years. And it was just in a drawer, so every now and then, you know, I quit caring. And then I'm pretty sure I determined that I don't like The Offspring, uh, just from hearing songs of it. But then, like, it, we had, like, a drawer, and I'm pretty sure we had that CD that just was in there, unopened, for, like, you know, years and years. It was weird. The Serpent Trench used to be deep underwater, now it's above sea level. Some cult of Kefka members have built a tower there. Okay, cool story, bro. Um, actually, uh, before we explore this town, we're gonna have to call it an episode here. And, uh, yeah, we got, uh, I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anything... Oh, oh, yeah, actually, there is a place. I was about to say, is there anywhere else we can go? Oh, shit, I... I totally forgot about this. Okay, we'll do this next time. I didn't think this activated until we walked up further. But we got some kind of emergency. Cliffhanger, uh... I'm pretty sure everybody who's played the game knows what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll we'll find out next time. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you then. Bye.